2,716 years ago, within the shadow of beautiful Mount Olympus in the land of ancient Greece, was born an institution known as the Olympic Games. Emblematic of these glorious athletic festivals is the torchbearer who down through the ages has carried aloft the precious flame to the far corners of the earth. Rome, Egypt, India, China. Through forests and trackless wastes, over mountains and sea, down to the present day. The ritual of the Olympiads demands that this heroic flame shall not become extinguished, but shall be kept burning at all costs, serving as a beacon whose unfailing light shall guide all athletes in fair play and clean sportsmanship, to give them courage and forever remind them of the brave and the strong whose nerves of steel and cool heads shall keep alive and preserve at any sacrifice this precious spark for posterity, that all mankind shall benefit by the light that never fails. The first Olympic event was foot racing. Therefore, let us briefly analyze the fundamental strides. First, the sprinter. Note the powerful piston-like action of the legs as compared to the long distance or space devouring stride of the miler. And then that of the marathon runner, whose effortless, untiring stride carries him for amazing distances. And last but not least, the walk, perhaps one of the most graceful of all, exacting the perfect coordination of all the muscles of the body. Note the similarity of the walk to a dance. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Um. Oh. <laughs> hey, wait a shake. Uh, we're off the track. Uh, track. Oh, yes, a uh, track. Uh, one of the most spectacular of all track events is the hurdles. Ready, set, go! Nothing can compare to the ease and grace of the hurdles for sheer beauty of motion. Beginning with a short run, the pole is planted in the pit. A swing up. Hold it. We are now at the apex of the vertical lift. Notice the position of the legs just coming into the jackknife. Observe the swing of the hips and the knee flexation as the legs progress into their arc, preparatory to crossing the bar. Crossing the... You know, that reminds me of a poem by Tennyson, Crossing the Bar. Sunset and evening star and one clear call for me. And may there be no moaning of the bar when I put out to sea. Don't you think that's a lovely thought? I do. All right, jump. Oh, oh, oh yes. <clears throat> uh, from this position, the body arches itself in a graceful glide, clearing the crossbar and settling it gently into the sawdust below. muscular development, plus height, weight, and mental alertness. The hammer must be swung in a circle until terrific speed is attained.
And last, but far from least, the decathlon, a group of ten events arranged to test the athlete's stamina and prowess. Spoiled. 